Hello and welcome back to another vlog. If you're new, my name's Lauren. We are finally home for a couple weekends and I feel like it's been so crazy busy the past couple of weeks. Honestly, since the last week of January, we've just like had something every single weekend, me and Christian. So it's nice that we're home for a couple of weekends and then we have a wedding at the end of March and then we're home. It should slow down unless we like plan something like a little weekend thing, but as of now, nothing planned, which is good. I slept 10 hours last night. I finally just slept in, rested, because this is like the first weekend that I haven't had something to get up and go do. So it was really nice, but since we are home now, and it's been a couple of months since we've done this. I'm doing a grocery restock. If you guys have been watching me for a while, then you know that I do grocery restocks at Costco, Trader Joe's, things like that every couple of months. And it holds us over for a couple of months. It's where we get all of our meats and we get a lot of snacks and stuff like that from those places as well. So we go to Costco. I like Costco. We can buy in bulk and then we're just like good. We don't have to worry about meats at all. They come vacuum sealed already and and you just throw them in the freezer and pull them out and thaw the night before and you have dinner. I just prefer to do it this way. I feel like it saves us money in the long run. And yeah, we always have something in the freezer. So that's what I prefer. Since we're home for a couple of weeks, might as well just do a grocery restock. We need it. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's first, then I'm gonna come back and then Christian and I are both going to go to Costco together. But anyways, welcome back to another vlog. Let's hit Trader Joe's. Okay, I just got home from Trader Joe's. Whole Foods and I also went to Sephora. I didn't vlog at all because everywhere's a madhouse on Saturday so I was really just trying to get in and out. So I'll do the Trader Joe's haul first. I also find it so funny that they have Christmas bags right now. I feel like they never really run out of these either. I feel like year round I always see the Christmas bags. <laughs> but So Trader Joe's first. I got some of these chomps. These are so good for the afternoon to add like a little bit of extra protein, a really great snack too. Like after lunch, midday, I pack these with me for work and they're cheaper at Trader Joe's than they are at Whole Foods. So I bought a bunch there. Next are the Elote corn chip dippers. Got two of those. Got some more avocado spray, black pepper. Rice cauliflower stir fry, this is so good. Beef fried rice with kimchi, got two of those. Orange chicken, uh, chicken soup dumplings, these are so yummy, so I got two of those. I also got some hearts of palm. I saw on TikTok there was a snack that I wanted to try and it was this with salt and pepper and tzatziki sauce. So I got a couple cans of these for that. Chunky guacamole. They had the center cut fillets, so I got two of those. And then sweet potato gnocchi. I never know how to say this, but I got this gnocchi and gorgonzola gnocchi. And then Whole Foods, I got some of my favorite popcorn. They don't have the no cheese cheesiness one at Publix. They only just have like the original one and the kettle corn. So whenever I'm around Whole Foods, I love to pick this up. It tastes just like cheese popcorn. It's so yummy. So I got two bags of those. Got some of these Paleo Puffs. These are really good. Again, in the no cheese cheesiness flavor. This brand, Lesser Evil, is one of my favorites. Got some Siete sea salt and vinegar potato chips. They don't have these fun flavors at Publix. So whenever I go to like Whole Foods or even like Sprouts, Fresh Market, places like that, they always have stuff like this there. So I pick it up. And here is the tzatziki I got. This has no weird added ingredients. So that's why I picked that one up. It's from Whole Foods. I also got more chlorophyll drops. And then from Sephora, I got my favorite cleansing balm, which is by the Inculus, the oat cleansing balm. I've repurchased this a million times. It's my favorite. It's like $11, lasts a decent amount of time. And you can also use it as a face mask like a nourishing one because it helps with redness as well so it might be nice after like being out in the sun to put this on just in case you get a little burnt on your face your skin's irritated or need some moisture you can also use this as a face mask so i really like this stuff it's my favorite that's the haul 
So I'm gonna put all of this away and then we're gonna head to Costco. Okay, just got home from Costco. We got a couple new things that I'm excited to show. So I'm gonna start over here. Got some Tide Pods, these stuffed peppers. These are so good and so easy for dinners. Salmon, ground turkey, ground beef, another ground turkey. We just got a bunch of this stuff so we don't have to go back soon. We also have tons of chicken left over because when we went to Costco last time, we bought like our regular amount of chicken and then we got a bag of frozen chicken already. So we just have tons of chicken left over. So we didn't get any of that this time. Got some eggs. This is the best price for organic eggs that I can find. $7.99 for 24 eggs, so we get two of them. This is new. We saw this on a little aisle. Banana bread, superfood cookie. I don't know, sounds good, plant-based, vegan. Three grams of protein, and the ingredients weren't terrible. They weren't incredible. Hey, the, I guess, creator is named Lauren. Love that, great name, <laughs> but thought these were sounded really good and christian loves banana bread he actually loves banana flavored anything he went with me to costco and some of the stuff he picked out and you know how that goes i feel like when you go shopping with your significant other boyfriend whatever they always just buy at least mine does buys a lot of unique things he's such a boy it's so funny got some dishwasher pods this is really good cauliflower rice i use this for meal prep they had chomps there, and this is a great price. It was like 16 something for 12 of them, which is already cheaper than buying them at Trader Joe's. So if you love these, go to Costco and get them if you have a Costco membership. They only had this flavor though, but this is just the traditional beef flavor. So we got more of those because they don't really go bad. This is some of the best cauliflower crust pizza. It's so good, and the Supreme flavor, it's just really easy to have for like a weekend lunch, something like that. It's great to have in the freezer. <laughs> this, this is one of Christian's pickups. It sounds good, but I've never had a pork rind before, so I'm a little bit intrigued. Chili limon. So I'm excited to try these. He is just... These are really good though, like I gotta give it to him. He just walks around Costco and just tries all of the food and little treats on the ends of aisles, but this was one of them. And I, we used to have these at my old job at my shared office space job where I worked for like three years. We had these and we would set them out for wine and cheese and they're so delicious. They're so yummy. Got some of this basil pesto to kind of like switch up pasta sauce. Christian is allergic to cashews and it's, sometimes it's really hard to find pesto without like cashew oil or cashews in it. So I'm happy that I found one. It does have pine nuts in it, but he's not allergic to pine nuts. So we're gonna try this, I'm excited. He also picked up this and he said it's really good. You can do it as a side or even as like a dinner over rice. So we got this. Oh, he also got these too. <laughs> These little fruit bars, strawberry lemonade, strawberry banana, I don't know, just something to have. And then we got some of this sliced grass-fed sirloin. Thought it'd be good for tacos or just honestly for dinner with sides. So got some of that. And then we also got paper towels and those are in the car because we didn't have enough hands to bring it up. But this is the Costco haul. I've done so many hauls today, but this is the last grocery haul. I just decided to go to Publix today instead of going tomorrow because I'm already like out and about and now I don't have to go tomorrow. So got yogurt. It was buy one, get one free. So that's what I got for. And this is what I have for breakfast during the work week. I'm going to do strawberries with the yogurt this week. Got a bunch of poppies. I love the dog pop flavor. This is my favorite flavor. And then also the root beer flavor. These are my two favorites. 
taco seasoning. We're doing um, taco bowls for lunch meal prep this week. Okay, this intrigued me because I was getting the poppies on the soda aisle and there was like a 12 pack or an eight pack of minis of this and it's like move limited edition. It says transformation flavored. I don't know if this is flavored or not. So when I was checking out, I saw an individual one. I didn't want to buy a whole pack, but I saw like just a bottled one when I was checking out. So I picked it up because I wanted to see if, what it tasted like because it doesn't really describe the flavor. Next, I got some of my milk. I love the milk cashew, tomatoes for the burrito bowls, guac for the burrito bowls. I got spicy for myself and then just regular for Christian. Lime, cilantro, cucumbers for like tzatziki to eat with that. These are the best pickles, the hot ones. The original ones are really good too, but I love the hot pickles. They're so yummy. I am so excited that Publix had this. This used to be my favorite creamer. And usually at Publix, they only have the vanilla nut pods or like the hazelnut or the original. They don't have the fun flavors like coffee cake. And last week they had the toasted vanilla one. So I got that one. And this week I saw that they had the coffee cake one and I used to love this and buy this all the time from whole foods and i honestly used to get it on amazon so maybe i should go back to doing that because i love the coffee cake flavor and the toasted marshmallow they're both so good so i picked up that got some of these cinnamon rolls we saw them at costco in bulk and we just didn't want to get all of those cinnamon rolls so i got some from publix asparagus for a side for dinner this week and more romaine lettuce for just to have for dinners and for the readables. So last grocery haul, I'm gonna put all this stuff away and now I'm good and we're done with grocery shopping. Okay, I'm gonna be filming a TikTok as well. I have my camera right here for this. If you're interested in following me on TikTok, I'll put my name right here. I've posted a few TikToks just of like the hauls that I already shared on YouTube. So if you want like the up-to-date, quick day of content, you can follow me on TikTok. I I'm not consistently posting on there, but I have been more frequently and I'm trying to post more on there. I'm just, I'm trying. I feel like I'm kind of resistant to posting on TikTok. It is just so incredibly easy to post on TikTok. It's the easiest form of content I could ever think of. Like no wonder everyone's posting on there. It's so easy. It takes me literally like two seconds to edit the TikTok and post it. YouTube, it takes me like hours to edit the videos and then to post and it's not up for like a week or two later. But I just prefer YouTube over TikTok. Um, so yeah, but I'm gonna be doing a taste test of this. It's the Coca-Cola Move Limited Edition Transformation flavored. I don't even know what it is. I don't, it might taste just like Coke. I have no idea. So I'm probably gonna just share the, you'll see my reaction to my taste test, but I'm gonna record on my phone for this. So I'm gonna do like the TikTok more focused on it, and then you guys can just see my reaction on YouTube. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Wait. Kind of tastes like coconut. It tastes coconutty, like a coconut flavored Coke. Definitely worth trying, but probably won't pick up again. Okay, so I'm sure you guys heard from the TikTok, but um, it kind of just tastes like a coconut flavored Coke. Like, it's good, but I don't know if I'd pick it up again. I prefer like the vanilla flavored or the cherry. I just picked up a cherry vanilla flavored pack like a couple weeks ago and it was so good. Those are more of the flavors that I like. This one tastes like coconut and it kind of reminds me of like Malibu. Worth trying, but I don't know if I'd pick it up again. Okay, Taylor and Maya are here. 
We're cooking dinner. We got, Maya's opening it. It's a brown sugar glazed salmon filet. They have them at Publix in the seafood section. That's what they look like. And then we're gonna do potatoes. And these are seasoned with salt, onion, salt, paprika, parsley, garlic powder, and um, avocado oil. And then just some asparagus that are salt, pepper, garlic powder. And we're gonna cook these in the oven and then we're gonna cook these in the air fryer. Hello, it is me from the future. I am currently editing this video and I realized while editing that I never asked in this video for questions for a Q&A that I wanna film. It has been a couple of months since I filmed a Q&A, so I wanted to go ahead and film one for YouTube. So I asked over on my Instagram and I'll put my name right here just in case you guys are interested in following me and keeping up with me in real time over there. Um, but I asked over there for you guys to ask me some questions for my Q&A and I wanted to go ahead and ask here in this video so the people that don't follow me on Instagram can ask me some questions as well. So you can either DM me on Instagram if you want to or you can comment down below any questions questions that you want me to include in my q and I just wanted to go ahead and include this in this video because I totally forgot when I originally filmed this weekend video that you're currently watching to ask. So I wanted to throw in this clip so you guys could ask me some questions, but now back to the vlog. sunny warm day here in Orlando it just feels like summer outside and it's it's really nice we really don't get a winter here we didn't even really get one this year there wasn't a lot of cold days to be honest I feel really lucky to live where I live it just always is like warm and sunny and it just when you walk outside and it's like warm sunny and just clear skies there's like a slight breeze it just like puts you in a really good mood. So I feel really lucky to live here. I don't see myself living anywhere else other than Orlando, like maybe like somewhere else in Florida, maybe, but Christian and I are both really happy here in Orlando. So I just went and picked up my um, prescription and then I also picked up an Ulta order. I needed more dry shampoo and it was on sale today. Look at how big these dry shampoo bottles are. I feel like these are massive. Yeah, they're the big, big bottles of dry shampoo. I just love the Batiste dry shampoo. It's really cheap. These were actually on sale today for like $13 instead of $18. Like these are huge. I usually get the, the smaller ones. They were on sale today. So I picked them up. I don't know how long they're gonna be on sale for. But if I have a dry shampoo that I like that's inexpensive like this, I just don't see the need to spend like $25 or $30 on a dry shampoo bottle. Like it just doesn't make sense to me. I just love Batiste and I've been using Batiste since I started training my hair to go longer without um, washing it or like go longer between washes and I wouldn't be able to live without dry shampoo. It's like one product that I don't think I could live without because I feel like more put together. I work out like three to five times a week, so I need it. I wash my hair twice a week. So it's just like 
a necessity. I feel like the two beauty products that I can't live without are dry shampoo and maybe like mascara. Those are like the two beauty products. Those are, if I had to pick only two, it would be dry shampoo and mascara. What are yours? Leave them in the comments down below. I really would love to know what your two beauty products that you truly can't live without, whether that's makeup or like hair care products. Those are my two. So let me know yours in the comments, but the time change happened this weekend. So it's kind of like thrown me off. It's literally already 4.30 and the day is just like done. And um, I slept in until 10.30 which would have been 9.30 and then I like woke up, got up, I like had my coffee at 11. I was like, the day is done, the day is done. So the time change really just throws me off because I usually wake up like early and I feel like I didn't wake up that early. I don't know, it just kind of like threw me off. Anyways, I'm gonna go inside. just did my skincare and made a little sleepy time tea and now I'm about to get on the couch with Christian and we're gonna watch Outer Banks the new season we've been watching it a couple episodes this past week so we're gonna watch another one tonight and I wanted to go ahead and end off this video here I hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend in my life full of tons of grocery restocks but I hope you guys enjoyed Make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next weekend when I pick up the camera again.